Growing up in Japan as a girl was a confusing experience for me. Not being or acting cute was taken as a sign of defiance. I left Japan at 26 and began to understand things didn't have to be that way for me, so I decided not to return. A few years ago, when I became aware of the phenomenon called idols during my visits back home, it felt like it had something to do with what made me uncomfortable about being a woman in Japan, and I wanted to explore it. My name is Kyoko Miyake, I'm the director of Tokyo Idols, which is playing in the World Documentary Competition at the 2017 Sundance Film Festival. Idols are a mainstream phenomenon and it's a billion dollar industry. They give us a unique entry into the world of gender dynamics in Japan. Our main character Ryo has been an inspiring idol singer for three years. She's facing a make or break moment as she approaches the unwritten age limit for idol girls. We also follow her most devoted fan Koji, exploring the elaborate and ritualized role fans play in Ryo's career as they become increasingly disconnected from women of their age. Ryo is like a little goddess to her fans who are mostly middle-aged men. She seems to play the role of an ideal woman, a caring mother and a figure of inspiration all at the same time. Tokyo Idols is a story of girls trying to find their place in a society where innocence, cuteness and fragility are the most valued qualities in women. I started this film to confront my insecurities by revisiting my failed girlhood. I realized that this story cuts deeper into what it means to be a woman or a man in a hyper-modern society.